What's up guys, Alex here. I have the Asus N552VX, a 14 inch gaming laptop with power like a horse. Let's see how it works. Asus's N552VX is one of the premium models of multimedia all-rounder. It is not much slimmer than its predecessor, however the clever design of the matte black underside suggests a slim laptop. Light brown, silver and black dominate the casing. The leather is found on a displays matte, basal and non-slip structured underside. Asus promotes the laptop as one body aluminum casing. Unfortunately, this is not true, because the base is composed of two components and the lower part is plastic. However, the upper side shimmers in aluminum that defies fingerprints quite successfully. The same is true of the lid's aluminum bag. It looks like the concentric cut familiar in Asus' sandbooks with an illuminated Asus logo in the center. In addition to the rounded corners and successful surfaces, the concentric perforated grille below the inches set visual highlights. The base can be easily warped with a lot of effort. It does not produce any noises. The stability and apparently impeccable build quality convey a solid impression despite a lot of plastic. The display slit is easy to open with one hand and rocks only slightly during movement. Attention has been paid to ensure sufficient stability here. Connectivity. Although the status LEDs on the laptop's front edge are not in the area of the input devices, they are clearly visible. This is particularly helpful at night since status LEDs in the vicinity of the laptop input devices may prove distracting. One LED shines orange when the battery is low and green when fully charged. All other LEDs shine white. On the front side we have a SD card reader and the status LEDs. The left side, power supply, mini display port, HDMI, Ethernet, USB 3 and USB Type-C. On the right side is the audio in-out jack, two USB 3 and the optical DVD drive, also Kensington lock. Keyboard. We have a chiclet keyboard here. Asus has incorporated the power button in the keyboard's upper right. Play, stop, forward and back are mapped on the arrow keys. Everything else is found where expected, also a number block. When the three-level keyboard backlight is disabled, the black-gray lettering of the flat, non-slip keys provide a good contrast, at least during daytime. The letters glow in bright white blue when the light is turned on. Touchpad. The keyless clickpad makes a compelling impression. Its surface is quite smooth. Thanks to the touchpad's above average size and superb responsiveness coupled with good accuracy. Drag and drop always functions reliably. Asus confirmed every click with a restrained audible feedback. Up to four fingers are detected at the same time. Asus' smart gestures enables configuring four finger gestures comfortably. Display. A full HD panel with 300 nits is a very good rate that is clearly above the average for this category. Performance. The Intel i7 quad-core CPU has more than enough power for all standard application scenarios. Gaming performance. The user will have to be satisfied with medium presets and the 1366x768 HD resolution in most up-to-date 3D games. A higher rendering quality is possible in games before 2014. Anyway, mobile gaming is not the strength of the laptop. Fan. Only the idle noise level is expected in normal office use. The fan's higher noise level will hardly distract games or the video night due to music or ambient noise. Speakers. If disregarding the complete lack of bass, the two upward facing speakers do an excellent job. Dialogues in video sound rich and natural. The sound quality of the audio jack in conjunction with a good headset makes a very good impression. Superb results in dynamics and bases are achieved thanks to the default driver's good configuration option. Verdict NVIDIA's GeForce 950M graphics card is not really suitable for ambitious gamers. Up-to-date games will require lowering the graphic details and resolution. 
However, all other application fields of the multimedia sector are completely covered. The build is impeccable, the same as the screen, sound, input devices, performance, temperatures and emissions. But in my opinion, the screen panel of the ThinkPads are much better. It doesn't matter if you compare the Asus N552VX with the ThinkPad 13 E460, Y460, Y260. The panel is much better. The screen panel of the N552VX is as bad as the Sandbook UX310UA. It is a typical IPS glitter on the screen. Not my style, but maybe you will like it. Please check out my review to all these laptops. Maybe it will help you decide. Thanks for watching.